And you also decided to go back to school. I did. I went back and got my master's at the University of Toronto. I'd never been to university, mm -hmm. and I was always bothered um, as a playwright by how many of the people I would work, was working with had the same education. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think that's part of the problem we're experiencing in theatre right now as well, is that a lot of our artistic directors have exactly the same education and the same teaching, and they're all kind of doing the same thing. It leads to a kind of uniformity in, and, and also a kind of moral... Um, ultimatum in things that are going on. You know, we have this whole group of people who've come out of theater now who are all, all about trigger warnings and no cultural appropriation and who mm -hmm. has the right to do this and who has the right to do that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really dangerous because those people are telling other people what they can do with their imagination and what they can't. And I think that's the biggest insult you can ever inflict on anyone. Mm -hmm. It's far more repressive than cultural appropriation or making someone feel unsafe mm -hmm. to tell them they don't have the right to use their imagination to imagine being like you. Mm -hmm. That's a very bad thing. Uh, do you do a lot of research? Do you do a lot of research before? Do you do research during? It depends what I'm writing. I mean mm. a lot of stuff, I, I, I like to write about stuff that I know firsthand because not only is it more authentic but I don't have to do research. Mm. Uh, but for example I'm working on a, a screenplay right now that's been written by someone else in, uh, in India about uh, two men from different caste uh, levels who fall in love in India and they need mm. a, a major rewrite on it and I'm rewriting it and I've never been to India. So I'm doing major research. I mean, literally weeks of, of research of, of locations and, you know, set in a slum and what happens in there. And, you, you know, when you start thinking about everyday life, if I could go there and hang out in the slum, mm -hmm. I would see it all, but I can't mm -hmm. do that right now. So I have, to, uh, I have to research like crazy. And I think that a lot of what people get offended by when they talk about cultural appropriation or taking someone else's voice or something is just people not having done proper research to be able to talk about what they're talking about in a, a, a knowledgeable manner, you know, and that's just laziness. Like, I, I, I research like crazy, like, I, I have to know what I'm talking about. Hopefully it's something, you know, if I'm writing a gay story set in Toronto, I don't have to do that much research. Mm. But if I go a little farther afield than that, I got to do a lot of research. One of the things I, like, whenever I'm working with young playwrights or whatever, I always, my, my advice to them is just do the work, like, work hard, like, don't, the thing that drives me crazy is like lazy writing and, and people just not willing to do the research. Sometimes people will come to me and say, oh, can I write in this black voice? Can you write for me? It's like, yeah, of course you can. Anybody can. I can write in a right voice, a white voice. It's fine as long as you do the research. That's my advice. What's your advice to like a fresh young playwright? You know, just, well, my first advice is always write what you know. Mm -hmm. Always write what you know. Everybody says that. After yeah, write what you know. But, but I really believe that. And, and I get mm -hmm. a lot of young writers coming to me who are writing these really ambitious plays about mm -hmm. things they don't know anything about. And it's like, that was my problem with Wolf Boy. You know, mm -hmm. I had a psychiatrist character. I had a parent. I had all these characters I didn't know anything about. It wasn't until I got rid of them and mm -hmm. narrowed it down to the people I knew mm -hmm. that it really started to fly, you know? So my advice to them is always not, I mean, write what you know, but also invest in what you know. And also, write something you're scared to write. Hmm. Whatever you're thinking about and you say, oh my God, I could never write that, that's the thing you want to be writing about. That if you're not afraid of what you're writing about, you're not really invested in what you're writing about. 